aerial view of deforestation in Indonesia. This footage was filmed earlier this year. It reveals the rainforests of West Papua cleared and ready to be replaced by palm oil plantations. Papua is a critically important tropical rainforest. It is an area that we cannot afford to lose. And right now it is being threatened by palm oil development, including the development for other crops like, like pulp, paper, uh, and other agribusiness commodities. This is the end result, massive plantations of palm oil as more companies line up to capitalise, often at the expense of the environment and local indigenous communities. Papuan people are facing difficult with the economic development project created by the Indonesian government. Economic development project for whom? This is, this is the, uh, the big question from the Papuans to the Indonesian government. This has been occurring across the region at an extraordinary rate. Indonesia and Malaysia produce 85% of the world's palm oil. Across Aceh, Sumatra, Borneo, Kalimantan and now Papua, Millions of hectares of forests have been cleared and replaced by the lucrative crop, often endangering species like the Sumatran orangutan. The palm oil is shipped all over the world and used in roughly half of the products in a typical supermarket. So what you can see here is the excavators ripping down the rainforest. San Francisco-based Australian Gemma Tillak monitors the industry for the Rainforest Action Network. So right now we're at a critical juncture in the fate of Indonesia's rainforests. The Indonesian president has actually taken a big, bold step forward and announced a moratorium on the further development of oil palm plantations in Indonesia. So we have a critical opportunity right now to get it right and to act together as a global community to protect Indonesia's rainforests. But this footage obtained by 7.30 reveals destruction continues in Indonesia's rainforests and peatlands despite the moratorium. It was filmed in North Sumatra in the crucial Losa ecosystem. It is the last place on earth where you can find the Sumatran orangutans, the tigers, the elephants and the rhinos all coexisting together in the wild. This land clearing can be linked to some of Australia's most famous food brands through their parent company, Wilmar. Wilmar International is the world's biggest palm oil trader. The Singapore-based agribusiness is controlled by the Malaysian billionaire Kwok Kun Hong. It's the owner of CSR Sugar, one of Australia's most popular brands. Together with the Hong Kong-based conglomerate First Pacific, Wilmar also owns Goodman Fielder, the maker of many well-known Australian food products. The footage was filmed last month and shows a plantation owner clearing forest in the vulnerable Trepa peatland. You can see that the excavator is ripping down the rainforest in the Trepa peatland. Um, this is the orangutan capital of the world. So this is prime habitat for the Sumatran orangutan. The workers have been digging canals in the area and the clearance appears to have been underway for months. The, the drainage of the peat systems reduces the water table so that you can actually plant oil palm on the land. The Rainforest Action Network researchers decided to investigate further. At the same plantation, they filmed palm oil fruit being loaded into a truck. They followed it as it drove to a nearby processing mill, the name of the site, PT Raja Marga. This mill is listed on Wilmar International's website as a supplier. I was shocked. I actually thought that by now Wilmar would have identified all of the third-party actors that were still destroying the Losa 
and convince them to either stop or to shut down their operations. It's pretty full on, isn't it? There's no, it's not selective, it's just. Senator Nick Xenophon is a vocal critic of the palm oil industry. It even got him deported from neighbouring Malaysia three years ago. Should Wilmar be held accountable for what is going on there? Look, absolutely, and they need to be up front with Australian consumers, all of us who would have consumed one of the products that Wilmar now controls or owns, as to what's going on here, particularly where there appears to have been a blatant disregard in the supply chain of a moratorium announced by the Indonesian government. Wilmar International declined 7.30's request for an interview. In a statement, it said it shares the concerns about the looser ecosystem. It says it proactively audits its supply chain and after its own investigation, it halted buying from the rogue processing mill in October. Two years ago, Wilmar did commit to stopping deforestation, to stopping the destruction of peatland and the exploitation of workers and communities. So it has taken the first step with this commitment, but what we found on the ground is that its third party suppliers continue to destroy rainforests, including those in the Loser ecosystem. Well, Wilmar's talking the talk, but not only are they not walking the walk, they're actually walking away from their previous commitments. So how far will the deforestation of Indonesia's rainforests go? West Papua is now considered the last frontier. But there too, major companies are now looking to expand. The companies that are interested in, in buying the land tend to be Malaysian, Indonesian, Korean and Singapore based companies. And these companies are the world's major traders in, in oil palm. Among them, Indo Agri, a key subsidiary of Wilmar's business partner, First Pacific, the other part owner of Australia's Goodman Fielder. As this footage confirms, it's now on the hunt in West Papua. What, what's your company? Say again. Uh, I'm from Indo Agri. Indo Agri? Yeah. It's yeah. a group of. A company, yeah. Companies, company. Yeah, based yeah. on Jakarta. Jakarta, ja Jakarta based? Yeah, based in Jakarta. Okay. Your core business is. Oil palm. Oil palm? Yeah, oil oh, palm. Okay. The encounter was filmed near the hometown of Papuan filmmaker oh, Wenzi Fatuban. When the transmigrant come and take the marine people's land, uh, they not, not only lost land, but they also lost the, their culture. For the majority of these, um, of these negotiated contracts, there has not been free, informed and prior consent on behalf of the Indigenous peoples, and that is something that companies are beholden to ensure. These latest images have inspired Nick Xenophon to act. He'll reintroduce a bill to require better labelling of palm oil products. Well, at the moment, palm oil is just labelled as a vegetable oil and it's given a number. It's meaningless in terms of consumers being informed. In the meantime, the clock is ticking for Indonesia's forests and the famous Australian brands that have aided their demolition. Wilmar is connected to the destruction of Treepers Peatland and it is connected to the destruction of the Losa ecosystem. That needs to change. Wilmar needs to go beyond the mill. They need to get down to the front line of forest destruction and stop the bulldozers in their tracks. <laughs>